Here it is friends, I'm finally reviewing the WTF Foundation by Jones Road. I'm covering a lot in this video, so we're just jumping right in. This foundation is $44. I have it in the shade Fair, and I'm gonna tell you right now, there are definitely better $44 foundations on the market. But I will say the marketing on this one is accurate. It is definitely the no makeup makeup foundation. My full-time job is a hairstylist behind the chair, and this does not pass the salon test, but it does pass the I'm a mom and I hang out with my kids on the weekend test. This foundation definitely separates when it's been sitting. It also will leave if you place it on its side so be warned you can buy a tiny little spatula to go with it but i just mix it with the back of one of my makeup brushes i would say this is one of the most annoying parts about this foundation it's kind of messy and i feel like you waste a lot of product when you go to mix it up the consistency is actually amazing once you get it all mixed up there are these tiny little beads in it that i tried to figure out what they were from the description online and i could not find what they are i would say the consistency of this foundation is definitely thicker than a normal foundation it's almost like a face moisture moisturizer with tinting in it a little bit goes a long way you do not need a lot literally the amount that comes on the end of my brush is usually all that i need when i first swatched this on my face the first time i used it i was shocked the color that it looks like in the jar is definitely not the same color that it comes out when i put it on my face and i would definitely say this is probably the best color match of any foundation right out of the bottle that i've ever seen it basically just melts right into my skin and this is what i mean by the no makeup makeup it actually just just feels like second skin which is exactly what they say in the marketing it's your skin but better and i am not paid by jones road to say this i spent my own 44 dollars on this foundation to bring you this youtube video depending on how much coverage i want that day i'll do a couple layers and just mix it in with my hands i have noticed that this foundation is a little tacky on my face like i said it's thicker than a normal foundation that i've ever used before and it leaves this like tacky residue on my skin so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup routine when i use this foundation yes i do use charlotte tilbury follows filter over top of wtf foundation i don't know why i just feel like sometimes that works out better and i am going to use the miracle bomb in flushed and sun kissed sometimes this does feel a little bit heavy but since we're going into the winter months i actually do feel like it hydrates my skin and gives me a really nice glow when i am using the miracle bombs and i've said this in my other videos with jones road i just don't feel like it lasts very long i think it melts into your skin which is nice and makes your skin feel nice but as far as like color and pigment it. I just don't think it lasts as long as I would like it for the price of the product. But if you're looking for a no makeup makeup on the weekend where you don't want to feel like you've got a ton of product on your face, the Miracle Balm and the WTF foundation would be a good option. It's quick, it's easy, and it feels more like skincare versus makeup. If I do want it to last longer, I definitely set my makeup with a bronzer and some sort of powder blush before actually setting it with my setting spray. I've had this product for about a year and it's taken me this long to make a YouTube video about it because I just really wasn't sure what I wanted to say about it. I feel like some people out there would actually really love this product, especially if you have dry skin. But for me, I don't think I will buy it again just because I think that there are better products out there for what I need them to be. And I really need a high performance foundation, especially when I am at the salon. My number one is the Ilia Skin Tint right now. And I just feel like I gravitate towards that one because it does have the SPF in it and the WTF does not have the SPF in it. And I did put a wear test at the end of the video. It was after about an hour and a half to two hours. And sometimes after I've worn this product all day on my face, it does settle into my creases a little bit which I'm sure could be mitigated if I use some sort of better primer, but then I feel like my face gets sticky and I feel like I have a lot of product on my face. Have you tried this product? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and like on your way out and also don't cover me for my mascara pieces, okay? I'm trying my best. Okay, bye!